What's up, everybody? Really excited to be playing this new Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and this is going to be my first video. So, this is the Vector. It's my favorite gun in the game. I run the Pathfinder, I think, or Panther class, sorry. Um, so, my submachine guns, they don't actually get uh, their damage reduced when using a suppressor. And of all the submachine guns, I really, really enjoy the Vector. It's got a crazy rate of fire. You can put it on burst mode and have a really, really good three-shot burst. The handling's really good. The accuracy's really good. And if you spec in um, a, a skill in your little skill tree, the range is also really good on everything, including this gun. So I'm going to show you where to get the blueprint. Uh, once you get the blueprint, you can just recraft this gun for really cheap whenever you level up and want to get a newer version or a better version. Um, where it's at on the map is in this top right corner of Darkwood Island. So here's the big map. Top right corner, there's Darkwood Island. It's in the Cape North um, province, a little bit northeast of Sugarloaf Mountain. And it's guarded by a behemoth. Now, the behemoths are the big-ass drone tank things that are kind of difficult to kill. We were able to take it out. Um, if you're struggling with it, rocket launchers will disable it. Um, once you disable it and it's like stunned, don't keep shooting rocket launchers at it. Shoot it with guns. LMGs work really good. Marksman rifles, whatever. Throw grenades. Um, and then when it is not disabled anymore, you can throw EMP grenades or rocket launcher it again or regular grenades and then unload. And uh, if you don't want to kill it, you can just try to sneak. Sneak into this little area here. And I think the second floor, you'll find this box. And this is where it's at. You'll get the blueprint, and you can either fast travel back to base or any, any little campsite bivouac thing. You can actually craft there, and they aren't always the same. So when you craft one, it can range in, in level or gear score, whatever you want to call it, and it can also have different stats on it as well. So this one's passive bonus is reload speed after a kill. I don't really like that. I want um, handling um, would be really awesome for me, or range, or something not reload speed after a kill, but I only crafted one. I don't have that much money right now, so I'm not gonna, and I'm low level, so I'm not just gonna craft a bunch, but um, these are your mark levels, mark one, mark two, mark three. The, as far as I know, they'll always be the same thing each time you level up just more and more, and to upgrade the marks, you put points into these, and the way I like to spec it, I honestly, I used to run extended mag, but um, it adds recoil, and I don't really like that. So the magazine's not that bad. It's 30 rounds already. So good enough for me. I put the suppressor on it. And I prefer the Comp M4 sight myself. Why didn't it go on there? Comp M4. Put a laser. And I don't have anything else. I just started playing. But this gun shoots really, really nicely. Like, I love it. The groupings are really on point now if you go full auto i mean you're straight r kelly pissing with this it's like all over the place that's why full auto i don't think is the greatest with this gun um you can change your fire rate to burst and as you can see when you're in burst the groupings are just all in the same spot and you can just you know tap it a few times and it's, it's really nice. One shot to the head and they're going to die anyways. But um, I love it. As you can see, real nice. And oh, let me show you one other thing. In the skill tree, first thing I recommend doing to make this all submachine guns great is go up here to the sniper class um, tree or whatever. You don't need to use sniper rifle. It's called ballistic advantage. It gives you plus 60 range and plus 30 handling. Range gives you lack of bullet drop. So... um. Less bullet drop, the more range you have, and it's an insane difference. With this on and off, I'll make a video explaining what this does and why it's so great, but there you go. That's it. This is where it's at. Again, Sugarloaf Mountain, northeast by the Behemoth Defense Area, and you can either sneak into it, get that blueprint, um, or, you know, kill the Behemoth and do it that way. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing a lot of Ghost Recon videos again. Um, and I'm streaming this live almost every day. Twitch TV slash Montoya. So I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching.